All right, just got dropped off at Jennings Creek by my husband. It's the day after I just ran a marathon and I'm gonna go head on into those woods and see how far I can walk. It's probably not gonna be very far. Bye. Good morning, I've done 1.4 miles so far. Not very fast, but I'm doing it. I am definitely sore. I can definitely feel that I've run a marathon yesterday, but I'm doing better than I thought I would. Yesterday after the marathon, I was incredibly sore. Just walking back to the hotel after I finished. Uh, it was a lot of work showering, just like standing up from the bed and just moving around the hotel room. We went to the brewery that was right next door from the hotel and it's an easy walk but I told my husband I'm like no we we gotta drive there I can't do it so I was limping all around limping up and down stairs and it, it was bad um, but this morning I feel good I'm, I mean not good I feel better than I thought I just hiked up 1,000 feet of elevation gain in the last 1.4 miles, so that's a lot. Uh, no real plan for the rest of the day. I kind of just want to hike until it gets later, maybe 6 p.m., 7 p.m., but no real pressure on how far I'm going to get. I did get on trail today earlier than I thought. The original plan was to stay another night in Delaware and then drive from Delaware to the trailhead this morning and hop on trail. But after the marathon, we're like, let's just do the drive now so we don't have to drive that much in the morning and wake up early. So we woke up like 30 minutes away from the trailhead at a Hilton, no, what is it called? Holiday Inn. Uh, and that way I was able to do some laundry and go to Walmart and resupply and really take my time and got back on trail at like 10, 30, 11. So that worked out well. I'll just... See where the day, where the day takes me. So I'm at one of the coolest shelters uh, for a little lunch break. This is the Bryant Ridge Shelter, I believe. I didn't know it was coming up. I definitely remember stopping here on my last through hike and hanging out, but it's a really well-made shelter. It looks very clean. There's a couple different levels and fits a bunch of people. There's also like the ring toss, toss game that maybe I'll see if I can get that uh, after I eat lunch. Lunch is gonna be some wheat thins and a roast beef and cheddar sub that I got from Walmart this morning. Um, Today's been good, 3.8 miles so far. I went up and over a 1,000 foot climb and that's about it. It does feel nice just hiking by myself in the woods because it's been a week. So over the last week, every day I've had someone visiting me, I've been traveling, I've been running the marathon, but like this is the first day I'm back to just like simple AT life in the woods by myself. So it feels nice catching up on my podcasts that I've missed. Don't get me wrong, I loved when all the visitors came. It was really exciting, but it's just nice uh, having the simple AT life again. And yeah, my body still hurts from the marathon, but I'm getting through it. I think after this break right here is going to be another really big climb. I think Apple Orchard is the name of it, but we'll see how that goes. Until then, I'm just going to have a nice lunch. Yeah, it's so much
So we kept going. <laughs> we were right across it. Yeah, we went halfway up. I've been hiking pretty slow all day. It's almost 5 p.m. right now. I stopped at two shelters today to have like a lunch and water break. You saw the first one, it was the really nice shelter. And then I just stopped at the second shelter of the day. I thought maybe I would stay there. I like walked, I don't know, maybe a tenth of a mile to the shelter and I took off my pack and started eating a snack. But, I don't know, I'm eating like some beef jerky and wheat thins on the picnic table and a section hiker showed up with his boxer and the boxer's like standing on top of the picnic table trying to like get my beef jerky and the owner wasn't really doing anything about it and I kept having to like wipe dog slobber off my legs and I was like, Ugh. I don't know if I could do this all night. I don't know if I can sit here and make dinner and I don't know. I love dogs. I love my dog, but um, it's easy for other people's dogs to bug me. So I left. I'm going to hike another five miles. I think I can get there before the sun goes down, uh, before it gets dark. Um, yeah, I hiked pretty slow all day, but it was mostly uphill. It shouldn't be too bad these last five miles, and I think I can pick up my pace a little bit. I finally reached the top of the mountain that I've been climbing all day since 10 o'clock this morning and now it's 7 o'clock at night. This is Apple Orchard Mountain, but yeah, a little bit of a view. You can see the sun right there. It's going to go down eventually. But yeah, there's that giant golf ball looking thing. Far out says it's an FAA air traffic. I don't know if I remember that right. But yeah, Apple Orchard, 4,225 feet. I just lay down for a quick minute in the grass. It is starting to get cold, so I wanna keep hiking and then get to the shelter, put on some layers. Uh, 1.2 miles until the next shelter and it's a little bit of downhill, a little bit of uphill, but it looks really easy um, on the Far Out app. So let's pick up the pace, let's get to camp, let's get warm and make some dinner. Thunder Ridge Wilderness. This is called the Gillotin. I believe that's how it's pronounced, but yeah, that rock is just kind of wedged right in there and the trail goes right underneath. 